Hi guys. It's Julie and Joe. Hi guys. <laughs> We're on our way to the city because Joe bought a Groupon a while back. Do you remember when? It's been a while. I don't know exactly when I bought it. I think we forgot about it. I didn't even know he bought it. So it's... I forgot I had it either. <laughs> so anyways, it's for Gino's East Pizza. So we've never been there. So that's kind of cool. But it's going to expire um, this weekend and it's Sunday. So we have no choice. We have to go get it. There's the city in sight now. We took all the local roads to get here, so it kind of took a while. We parked and now we're just paying at the lot. Isn't this crazy? Look at our getup. It's already supposed to be spring. The first day of spring already happened. And look at us right now. But seriously, we're not even exaggerating. It's really cold. You can see our breath, actually. The dragon. Water Tower in downtown Chicago, Michigan Avenue. It's one of the uh, only buildings that was left after the uh, 1900 uh, Chicago fire. We're just like walking around aimlessly, killing time before dinner because <laughs> it's too cold to even like attempt to sightsee or anything. But it's not like we really need to sightsee because we've been here a few times and we can come here whenever. Just admiring the Jordans. Secret sneakerhead. He just doesn't have all the money in the world to be a true sneakerhead. Anyways, I think that we should go and um, beat the dinner rush. Yeah, let's go. There it is. We thought we were beating the dinner rush because it's like not even six o'clock, but there's already a line outside. The wait's gonna be 20 to 25 minutes in this cold. Joe, I couldn't pull him out of the Nike store. I'm like, come on, let's go. Shame, shame. We'll be there soon. At least we're indoors now. That actually wasn't too bad of a wait outside. And it wasn't that cold, so I'm not mad at you. <laughs> Are you excited to eat though? I'm getting hungry. I know, right? It typically takes about 45 minutes once you order to get your pizza, the deep dish. So we already looked at the menu outside. These are booths. It's kind of crazy looking. All this like writing or slash graffiti is all over all the walls and posts and booths of the entire restaurant. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you recording me? There's, there's Julie recording everything. So for our group fun, it came with a choice of one medium pizza with two toppings. So we chose sausage and mushroom. Oh, and it comes with one appetizer. So we chose toast ravioli. We were debating between that and calamari in our way, which was really helpful. And she's like, oh no, no, the toast ravioli is way better. So I'm like, okay, so I'm excited to try that. And for the sausage, it comes in two styles. Patty, which is like a layer right on top of the dough, and crumble. But we chose crumble, crumble because the waitress is also like, the patty is like way too much meat. It's like a big, big layer. So it's gonna take about 45 minutes, but at least we're sitting down. It smells amazing in here, and it's so cool inside here. It's a really nice environment. I think that's the best part of the whole place. And uh, we heard that from a couple of the friends too. So we'll see. There she is. Doing her thing. Ooh, look, these are our toasted raviolis. It came out right away, like as soon as I was done recording my little spiel. They're huge. This is like one ravioli right here. So they're deep fried in breadcrumbs and sprinkled Parmesan cheese with marinara dipping sauce. And this is what's going on behind the scenes. Look at Joe holding up my ambient lighting so that I don't have to use my flash and it's too harsh. So hot. Oh, so good. Is it? Mm. You really like it? Mm. Extra crispy on the outside, very soft and hot on the inside. Is it like melted cheese? Yeah, it's really good inside. Gooey? Oh. Ooh, I gotta try it too. It's ricotta cheese. Yeah. It's like fluffy. It's not dense, it's really light on the inside and it's just ricotta. So it's like a cloud. The outside is really crispy. 
So it's creamy on the inside, not not really deep, creamy. Oh. It's good though. I'm so surprised at how many people come prepared to this restaurant with their own whiteout pens or whiteout. It's like everything's written in white practically. There's some Sharpies and stickers, but the entire restaurant and all the walls and boots and seats are covered like this. If I'd known, I would have brought um, my white out and put a little chefjulian.com up here. Oh well. Look, a ravioli is gone. Dunzo. At least we had an appetizer to hold us over. What you doing? Oh, you know, I'm actually re-gramming some people on Instagram who tagged me with the hashtag Chef Julie Yoon because they made something from the website. And so I see the hashtag and I usually regram it and put it up and share it on the Facebook fan page and stuff too. So I just found two people who did that, who made the apple tart with apple grease. So thank you. This is what we do when we're waiting 45 minutes for this food. Uh -huh. for this but it's good. Pizza. Thank goodness for Instagram. See, this is what I'm doing. I'm uh, regramming. This is... Donna Coley, and then there was Miss underscore Jessica Kim. Thank you guys. Shout out. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, he came and scooped our pizza on our plate so fast I couldn't even capture it. it smells really good. The crust smells like fresh baked bread out of the oven. I was too busy Instagramming to even know what happened. Mm. That cheese. So this is sausage and mushroom. This is a medium. It's about, that's my hand. I don't know. I don't know how to like measure this. That's the plate. <laughs> and that's the size. That's the medium. Probably like maybe 12 inch. I don't know. It should say it on the menu somewhere. But I think it's 12 inch. Is it 12 inch? Okay. I mean, it's not the, it's not the deepest deep dish. You can see that's the crust. And then it's like maybe just a half inch thick. So it's a little different. Try it. Ooh, look at that stringy cheese. Yeah. So good. Is it? The flavor is like nice and rich. It's not as thick as uh, Giordano's, but it's still really good. Luminatus is pretty thick, right? Or do you think no. Giordano's is thicker? Luminata is pretty thin. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh. But very cheesy. Is it good with the mushroom and sausage? What is this big crumpled up like? Right for my style. It looks juicy. Is it juicy? I don't know how to describe it. The sauce is really good. really rich sauce flavor. That's what I like about super saucy. But I don't know, it's all a matter of opinion, but I'm an East Coast girl, so I don't like super thick crust. I tend to like thinner crust, so for a thick crust being on the thinner side, that floats my boat. And I like it when you can actually taste the flavors on the top. It's like the cheese, the sauce, the sausage, the mushrooms. Look at that. It keeps going. The more I eat it, the more I have time to think about what I want to say. And the crust is really interesting. It's like actually really yellow if you look at it. And it's almost crumbly but firm. So it has a texture of like a softer biscuit slash scone almost, but with a hint of doughiness. It's really interesting. And that's where the butteriness comes from. I think that's what makes deep dish really unique, or this deep dish really unique. I'm like dissecting my pizza slice just so I can describe it better for you. Because this pizza is so hearty, and because uh, also we had the ravioli too, I think um, Joe could only eat two pieces, and that's like his remains. Can even get to the crust, and I could only eat one. Mine's like all crazy looking because I just kind of broke it apart trying to analyze it to see how I could describe it. And then this is what's left. So I think we together we eat half a pie of a medium and then taking the rest home. So we're done. We're paying. We have our pizza leftovers. And we're actually going to go over to our friend's place. Um, they live in the city. So we're going to just walk over. They're about a mile away. So we need to burn off these carbs anyway. 
well, that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna go hang out in their place for a little bit. We made it to our friend's place, and now we're just watching basketball, talking, and chilling out. Yeah, we're having fun, and they're over there, all shy, <laughs> just like me. Your place. Hi. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live, Jen? Where is this area? River North. This is the River North area. Do you like living here? Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice, actually. So with our bellies full of pizza and our souls filled with good conversation and laughter, we leave the city to come back for another day. If you enjoyed watching this video, then remember to tell us by pushing like, Leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. So we're at our friend Jen and Danny's place. Come down. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs>